Hello and welcome back to part two of the little free library build. We are walking down the street here toward... Wait, let me first tell you about the party we had because if you are thinking of building a library, you got to do something like this. It was so much fun. We invited all the neighbors, especially the ones with kids, to come down for a little block party. And you can see the chaos. There was uh, barbecue and paintbrushes and power tools. And we all worked together to put in a little effort. I thought that was really going to be a nice way to make sure that people in the community felt engaged with the project and wanted to um, help, you know, and feel like it's theirs, like we own it as a community and we all want to share in using it and keeping it nice and all that. And so it was such a huge um, success. And if you see by the photos and the video, it was so much fun. And that was what got it all painted and put together. So with that said, now let's take a look. Here we are hanging out on the library itself. It's all installed and it's been painted and on the post, the posts are set in concrete. It's on the road here. There's our little road, it goes up the hill, right on the corner, a great location. As you can see, we've already stocked it with some books, but uh, not a lot of books. Not as, books, not as many books as we need, but we're also planning to finish up this roof with a little bit of a metal roofing, I think is the plan. Um, some things worked, some didn't. This thing might not work forever. It's uh, this little gap here. Uh, we might get water in there, but whatever. We'll see how it works, and then we'll fix it if we need to. Take a look inside. I made this one 13 inches so that you could house some really nice tall books in there. And then this one's about 10 inches on the top. And uh, most of the books actually fit up there just fine. I thought it was a little deep, but if you look at this, it's actually, that book's just about perfect for this. So not too deep. Uh, this thing can really get filled up. We had the local kids paint it. So you see, we got some nice Jackson Pollock here. We got a little flower back here, some hearts down here. And um, I was the one who did books. That's my handwriting right there. Pick up the baby because we don't want it to fall. A little image of a sunset over Mount Baker with the forest. And then uh, this is the back. It's kind of avant-garde, but no one's really going to look back there. So we'll back up and get a better view of it as you kind of come down the road, what that looks like. There it is, under a big maple. And those maple branches are probably going to fall eventually, but... Uh, We'll deal with the damage when it happens, I guess. We cleared all this out um, with just a nice little rake. And um, maybe we'll get some wood chips there or some gravel or something. And maybe a little step stool for the smaller kids. Because as you can see, it's currently a little bit tall. A little bit tall for a baby. Wow, good demonstration, Juniper. Way to demonstrate. <laughs> Do you like your new library? So we decided to go with two posts. Well, I, I came up with a lot of this design. Um, there's a little wobble to it because they're only going, I guess, 18 inches. Gives it a little bit of a wobble still. There you go. But those should be pretty sturdy. Put it in with some screws so it's screwed on there. And um, some hinges, a little doorknob. Hey! Yeah, oh, and then the plexiglass, you know. Uh, the design originally asked for one piece of plexiglass, but that's two pieces of plexiglass because I only had plexiglass that was about eight inches thick. And uh, I used their method of using window screen clips, and that seems to work pretty well. Okay, baby's about to walk through the street, so I'm going to go grab her. Whoa, good catch. Say goodbye. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time.